Another way to further organize and maximize the functionality of our catalog is by using keywords. And by adding a nickname or a title to our photographs, we can then better sort or search for photographs when needed. So let's go take a look at how to do just that. Let's say we just want to see our pictures from the mountains, let's say, and not be concerned about the date they were taken or where they were taken, but simply any pictures that have mountains in them in general. If we type in the keyword mountains, then the catalog will filter out and display only the pictures that have the word included in their keyword box. Zoner Photo Studio X also uses three shortcut words that can refine your search further. And those are and, or, and not. Let's use the first word and search mountains and people. Then we'll get a selection of photographs containing those keywords. But when we use, for example, mountains, not people, then we'll get a selection of pictures that contain the keyword mountains, but it's not going to feature any with people. Let's take a look at the interface now and see how we can further use this keyword feature. We're able to add these keywords when in the manager module and the location is here on the right side of the interface or also in the navigator here on the left side of the interface. Simply right click on the keyword view and then click on new keyword. If we tried adding keywords picture by picture, it would take all day. So a much faster way and a better way of doing this is by selecting several photographs at once and then typing in the keywords you want the pictures that you selected to contain. Let's type in the word trip for this example. Notice how the program is already suggesting this word. And that's because I've already used this keyword in the past. And this is just another nice touch of Zoner Photo Studio and how it can quicken our workflow. Now, because we're adding this word to more than one picture, we'll have to confirm our action by hitting yes in the dialog window and so that everything is saved correctly. Now, if we select all of our mountain pictures, then you may have noticed that we have an asterisk next to some of our keywords. This asterisk means that only some of the selected photos have these keywords associated with them. Don't get rid of this asterisk though, because then the keyword would place itself among photographs that have nothing to do with the original meaning of the keyword. We can also add keywords to our photographs during importing. And I recommend doing just that because it only takes a moment and it's going to save us a lot of time down the road. Each keyword is then attached to the respective image as metadata and whether that's in the catalog or outside anywhere else. The point to all this is, is that when we have our images with keywords in the catalog, Zona Photo Studio will preload all the metadata and that makes searching for our images down the road much smoother and faster. Another advantage to the catalog is that it shows all the keywords we've ever assigned to our photographs. The layout though will differ for everyone and that's according to your preferences. So it might not look like this. If I was a wedding photographer, then my keywords here might be something like bride, groom, couples, and so on. But if I was a petrol head, then we'd have keywords like engine, exhaust, burnout, tires, you get the picture. Each keyword also has a number here next to it which indicates the amount of photographs that have this word assigned to them. I can also combine keywords. So for example, the word trip, I can combine it with the keyword mountains. Uh, this isn't a necessary step, but just another option that you get with Zoner Photo Studio. And if you want to unattach it, just simply grab it with your mouse and drag it up here onto the keyword view. Another cool tidbit is that we can drag our selected photos onto a keyword like this that we already have in place in the navigator. Or we can do exactly the opposite. Grab a keyword and drag it onto our selected images. So adding keywords in general might seem like a waste of time, but once you get used to it, I promise it's going to save you so much time in the long run. Imagine 
that you uh, remember going on some trip, let's say four or five years ago, but you just don't remember when it was, where it was, and in what folder you have it in, just type in that keyword and it'll pop right up. I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, another tool to your catalog toolkit. Please check out these videos to see more about the catalog, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one, see you later.